Hello, my name is Andre. Welcome to Video Pro Solutions. I'm doing a tutorial on my Canon C100. I purchased this camera back in 2019, and I tell you, I still enjoy using it. I still use it to this date. I believe the manufacturer date was 2012. So yes, it's got a little age on it, but this thing was about $6,000. Now you can get it for under $1,000. I've seen it for actually $700. Now, why would you want to purchase something like this? If you're going to be doing video production, you're going to need something that can record past a half an hour, 29 minutes. This thing you record up to two hours with no issues. Um, it doesn't overheat. I haven't had that problem. Had it indoors, had it outdoors. It has a nice fan, keeps itself cool. Um, it has a dual slot recording function, which I really, really enjoy and love about this camera because it gives me a little sense of everything's gonna be okay because if one card, for some reason, stop recording, or malfunctions, I have the second card backing it up. Now for me, when I'm in the field, I still wanna back up to a backup. So I have this Animus Ninja 2, which is a monitor with a hard drive. They have different models out there now. I'll leave a link in the description, but I recommend grabbing you something like this. So that way, if your memory card does fail, you got backup. The battery life on the Canon C100 is excellent, man. You know, two batteries you should be good for the day so it also has great audio it has two XLR inputs um, but for me I've been doing this for some time so I like a backup to a backup so what I have here is the Tascam ER44 WL and it's a great external recorder I mean I can monitor it from my actual cell phone as an app. So if I need to check on to make sure things are still recording, I can do so. If y'all would like for me to do a tutorial, let me know. I'm probably gonna do a tutorial on this as well. Now I think I purchased this for about 150 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description. I have the XL inputs here where you can go ahead and connect it to a PA system and you can press record and you can get that audio straight out of the PA system, the DJ mixer, wherever it may be, the speaker, and that way you have backup audio. Now, with that being said, it's helpful, especially during weddings. You know, sometimes your camera might be off, um, you're not recording every moment, but somebody runs up and grabs the mic and they want to give a special shout out or a special whatever, a tribute to the bride and groom, whatever. You want to be recording that. So to have the backup audio, is a great tool and I recommend you pick up something similar. All right, also on the C100, it has a dual pixel autofocus. As you can see the picture and the quality coming out of this camera is amazing. And you know, you have so many different features inside this camera. Um, I would definitely still recommend it. Now, another great thing you wanna have is the headphone jack. And yes, you need to monitor your audio. I don't care what type of uh, mics you have, what the quality of the mics are, how expensive the mics are, you still need to listen in to make sure there's no interference. Our human ears can't pick up a lot of the humming, the buzzing and stuff that your mic set will. So monitor, put some headphones on, you're ready to go. Again, this camera is amazing. I love the quality. I love the fact that I can record on my actual SD cards and I can get a bunch of footage it's not taking up a lot of space it just works so okay as as you can see this camera is amazing the quality coming out of this camera is amazing it works with my ef canon lenses i mean it's so many things so many great features i still would recommend this camera in 2023 thanks for watching my name's andre feel free to subscribe to the channel Thanks for your comments and input. Talk to you soon. Peace.